it's early morning. And keepers at the waterfall otter paddock still can't account for one of Annie's new pups. Come on, guys. Three, four. Come on, guys. Five, six. Seven. Keeper Gareth hopes it is hiding and will emerge for food. Crayfish. Uh, I've got a bit of a girly throw. I don't think I'd be very good in a rounders team. Oh, there he is. Brilliant. That's all ten. Finally, the youngster surfaces from behind the bushes. Breakfast time. Everyone likes their breakfast, so they're all out, which is good. It's such a relief that they're all together as a family, as they should be. But I guarantee those otters knew where that otter was. They're just giving me the runaround. But the pups are also giving their parents the slip. Annie and Wallace have got their work cut out because the pups are just running all over the place and one's going one direction, one's going the other one, one's in the water, one's under a bush. Mum and Dad are overrun. The benefits of moving them to the waterfall enclosure is the space, but there's a lot more hazards. One of the pups has become stranded. That waterfall is challenging for the little ones. The step down is quite steep, and I think they get a bit scared. But while Annie and Wallace deal with the first pup, a second is in even greater difficulty. One of the otter pups went right down the bottom of the waterfall and couldn't get back up. The other two were back at the top on the grass waiting, so what's going on? Annie reacts first, but struggles to reach her stranded pup. It's very steep and it's very slippery. It is really tough. Finally, Mum hauls him to safety. Life wouldn't be easy out in the wild. We give them everything that they need, but sometimes they need to figure things out for themselves. <laughs> 